why nobody wanted to shake hands with the stoker. Anyone could build a railway from Auckland to Wellington, said Grandad, but your grandmother had no idea how to invent the first train. The Governor General galloped his horse all the way up to our place, fell on his knees and begged me to do it. Did you know how? I asked Grandad. Oh, I soon worked it out. I showed the Governor General how the coal went into the furnace, how it heated the water to make steam, how the steam turned the wheels. Brilliant, said the Governor General. Now, drive it. I just need one thing. What's that? A stoker. Well, get one, said the Governor General. What does the stoker do? I asked Grandad. The stoker shovels coal into the furnace and gets covered in coal dust, soot and smoke. What about the driver? Driving's a clean job. The guard waves a green flag, the driver blows the whistle, whoop, and the engine starts. Steam shoots out of its ears, woof, it goes like a big dog, woof, woof, woof. The great driving wheels turn round slowly, click, 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 click. The driver blows the whistle again, woof, and the wheels go faster. Clickety click, clickety clack, clickety clickety, clickety clack. The driver blows the whistle. Woof! Clickety clickety, clickety clickety, clickety clack. Grandad shook his head. It's a very responsible job driving, but the stoker just shovels coal into the furnace and gets dirty. First time we left Auckland, the mayor put on his gold chain and top hat and rang the bell in town hall. Bing, bong, bong. Church rang their bells too. Ding dong, ding dong. The fire engines rang their bells. Ding a ding a ding a ding. The schools rang their bells. Ding a dong, ding a dong. I gave the kids a day off to see me drive the first train to Wellington. Were you famous? Grandad smiled and looked down. The guard waved his green flag. I blew the whistle. Whoop! And let off the brake. Woof! Woof! The steam shot out. Click, click, went the wheels. Gave the engine a bit more steam. Woof, woof, woof! Clickety click, clickety click, clickety click, clickety click. Woof! On the platform at Papakura, a whole school of children cheered, and their overexcited teachers burst into tears, blew their noses, wiped their eyes, and waved. But their hankies were so wet that they wouldn't flap. The cows all through the Waikato galloped neighing around in paddocks. And the horses mooed. And the dogs meowed. Cats barked. The chooks crowed and roosters cackled and laid a second egg. Faster, faster. Woo, woo, woo. Through King Country. Sheep were so surprised their tails stood on end. Woof, 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 they went. Woo, woo. Clickety click, clickety click, clickety click. Woo! Next morning, we were in Wellington. Oh, heck! The Governor General gave me a medal. The Army sent a brass band. Crowds cheered, and the Navy fired a 21 gun salute. Boom, boom, boom! As if I was the king. Did you drive the train back to Auckland? I let the stoker drive back. Did they welcome you home? Oh, people were used to the train by then. Besides, the stoker was too dirty. No one wants to shake hands with somebody covered in soot. Who was the stoker? Grandad got down on his knees and looked under the table, behind his chair. He even looked in the cupboard, under the bench in Granny's kitchen. Don't tell her I told you, he whispered. The stoker was your grandmother. She doesn't like people to know she got covered in soot and coal dust. He winked at me and went out into the garden, just as Granny came in from her bedroom.